everybody. I'm Gabe Graziani, your community developer on Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Uh, I'm here at E3 conducting an interview with uh, our associate producer, J.F. Boivin. Hello. And our creative director on the multiplayer, uh, Stéphane Baudet. Hi. Thank you for joining me, gentlemen. My pleasure. Um, so we've collected some questions from the community. Um, and the first one, the key thing that people want to know, is where does Assassin's Creed Brotherhood pick up after Assassin's Creed 2? Oh, it picks up right after the events of uh, Assassin's Creed 2. Uh, at the end of Assassin's Creed 2, Ezio goes head-to-head -head with uh, Rodrigo Borgia. Uh, that brings him back to the uh, Villa Auditorio, so his, base, his uh, family villa, uh, at which point he sort of takes a quick break uh, uh, you know, following the events. And uh, meanwhile, the Borgia are setting up a counterattack, a very huge counterattack, and that will bring him to Rome, to the center of uh, the Borgia influence. Um, now, we've heard a lot about uh, the Brotherhood. Um, Ezio is going to be amassing an army of assassins, a group of assassins to help fight him. Um, and our community was curious to know, how much differentiation are we going to see uh, among those assassins? Are they going to be uh, different specifically, or will they be more generic? Uh, the entire Assassin's Brotherhood part, but there's there's the entire what's you know the Assassin's Creed is also you know Desmond's story, so it's also that part of of, of what's happening right now uh, or in the very early future, and uh, we'll we'll uh, talk about that in a minute. But uh, like I said, Ezio is going to be uh, forced to go to Rome, the center of, of of the Borgia influence of power and corruption, and. Uh, he goes there, and, and Rome is decrepit. The people are starving, and and the, you know there are guards everywhere. And he can't basically do it all by himself. So he'll be uh, in sort of a safe citizen type of uh, manner. He'll be recruiting assassins and sending him out on missions to train them. So they're very easy missions at the very beginning, and they go up to very um, uh, very difficult missions. And all historically set. Uh, so for example, you have a Vasco da Gama mission, and then when they come back, they get experience points which you'll be able to spend uh, uniquely on each assassin. But there's this entire part of, you know, meanwhile. Uh, yeah, meanwhile, at Abstergo, while uh, Ezio is building his brotherhood, uh, the, the, the war between the assassins and the Templar is uh, reaching new heights. Mm -hmm. And so the Templar are recruiting new uh, subjects to be trained uh, to, to the art of the assassins as well. So the idea around that, I, I don't know if you remember, but uh, uh, during uh, AC2, uh, when you were escaping from Abstergo Industries, uh, you've seen uh, that you know huge room with uh, all what you call uh, the anime, the animi, which is the plural for animus. <laughs> um, this is where they are training their new subjects, and uh, that's where uh, the story is for the multiplayer parts. Okay. Um, now, are we going to see any changes in the combat system? Oh yeah, very much so. One, uh, that's one of the things that came up a lot from uh, from our fans. And uh, you know, AC2 was all about diversity and whatnot, and we, uh, I, you know, we, we got that pretty much down pat. People liked the diversity as opposed to AC1. Uh, one thing that came out a lot from the fans was, well, Kelly, the fight system is a bit sort of slow-paced. It's a bit a question of, of uh, you know, uh, waiting. It was a bit more defensive-oriented, uh, and now we wanted to reward those who strike first, strike fast, those who actually are very offensive. So uh, you have a lot more combo. It's a lot more visceral. It's a lot more fast-paced. Uh, if you do a combo move uh, or counter kill in AC2, you couldn't get that interrupted. It was like a one shot, one kill guaranteed. Uh, this time around, you will be able to be attacked from the back. And uh, as you'll see in the demo, I think we kill like 20 people in 25 seconds or something crazy <laughs> like that. So it's a lot more fast paced. We wanted to reward those uh, who uh, are really good with, uh, you know, with uh, their technique of fighting. Cool. Um, now, uh, of course, the biggest question uh, on our community's mind is uh, since we put up the Assassin's Creed Brotherhood website with all the weapons and things, they're very curious about what kind of new weapons and devices we'll see in the next game. Uh, can you give us any information on that? Uh, sure. There's uh, a bunch of new stuff. Obviously, we're in a, you know, it's a, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood is a full single-player game and has a, you know full multiplayer component to it. So we needed to add, uh, we wanted to add that that, that all that new stuff. And uh, one of these things are the uh, exotic gameplay elements. So last time around we had uh, the you know the flying machine. This time around we have the cannon gameplay, and that's just one example of the different uh, machinery that you'll be able to use. And there's a lot of environmental things that we've added as well. Tools, yes, uh, tools like the lift uh, to ba basically to reach yeah. the roofs uh, 